Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you how you can connect ManyChat to your Facebook ads. And more specifically, I will explain how you can set the right campaign objective of your Facebook ad and how you can connect that Facebook ad to your ManyChat flow. And yes, this setup will also work if you live in Europe. Let's dive in. Because there are some regulations inside Europe, the way how you connect Facebook ads to ManyChat differs whether you are living inside Europe or outside Europe. So that's why I'm first going to tell you how you can connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat if you're living outside Europe, and then I will tell you how you can do it when you're living inside Europe. So let's start by creating it if you're living outside Europe. So the first thing that we need to do is go to Facebook Ads Manager. You can just type in Facebook slash Ads Manager. And then we can create a new campaign by clicking on Create. Then we need to choose the Messages objective because we want to get people inside Messenger. We want to send them messages to our chatbot. So we need to click on Messages. Then we can click on Continue. And then here we can determine the campaign name. So we just call it connect Facebook ads to ManyChat. And then here we can fill in all the information. And in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you the best way on how to create a Facebook ad. There are way better people on creating the best Facebook ads there are. This tutorial is just going to show you how you can connect it to ManyChat. So here you can fill in the information, then click on next. And then here we have the message destination and you want to have the message destination on messenger and you want to have it on click to messenger and then here you can set your budget and your schedule and the audience you want to get into again i'm not going to show that in this tutorial but know that you need to fill in this information then click on next again then you need to select your facebook page so for me it's chatomize and then if you scroll down, you have the message template. And then here you need to select advanced setup and you need to click on edit. And here we have some JSON code that we need to change. And this is where ManyChat comes in. So let's head over to ManyChat. So now I'm in ManyChat and we'll go to automation and click on new flow. And then we will choose the start from scratch. And we will just name this connect Facebook ad outside Europe. Click on rename. And because I'm also using ManyChat for Instagram, this shows an Instagram message, but of course we need to connect it to a Facebook message. So just connect this to Messenger. And what is really important here is that you don't set any content type. You need to leave the content type as is. Don't change anything to this. And then also the first message is also really important. And what's important here is that you cannot use any personalization. So normally, for example, you would use the first name in this message. You cannot do that because you're connecting a Facebook ad to ManyChat and the first message cannot contain any personalization. So in general, I recommend to just set a message here without any personalization and add one button or one quick reply. So for example, what we can do is that we can say, we cannot wait to give you access to our Black Friday sale and then enter, enter, click the button below to get access. Then we can add a nice icon here and then we can add a quick reply with a lock icon so we can set that right here i'll just search for lock oh yeah unlock that's better and then we are going to say get access and that is the first message that we're going to send when somebody clicks on your ad and of course then we need to connect get access to a next message and then the content type here must be other and then you can just put in some Black Friday sale things. So we can say Black Friday sale 
is 40% use the coupon code here so just an example so that's the content when somebody clicks on your Facebook ad but if you want to connect it to your Facebook ad we need a trigger so we just remove this here and I will make it a little bit nicer by clicking on the auto arrange steps so then it looks like this that's a little bit better so this is better and then we can add a trigger so we can click on add trigger then we can search for Facebook and then we will select the Facebook ads JSON so here the JSON code that we need in our Facebook ad will appear when we publish this flow so when you click on publish and then we are going to refresh the page then if we click on the trigger again click here and then we have everything we need so we could just oh we can click on copy code to clipboard so just copy and then if we go back to the ads manager we're going to remove all this oh remove it all and paste it over here and as you can see we cannot wait to give you access and then they can click on get access just as we set up over here and then if you're done you can click on save and finish and if you set up your complete ad you can click on publish and now you have connected your Facebook ad to ManyChat but again this only works if you're living outside Europe so let's see how we can do this if you are living in Europe so you can just click on this cross sign here and click on campaigns and we are going to create a new campaign and then here the campaign objective must be traffic messages are not working inside Europe so you need to click on traffic then we can click on continue then we'll just call this connect Facebook ads to ManyChat inside Europe click on next then we need to set the traffic objective to messenger click on next again and then here if you scroll down again we have the message template and before we needed to click on advanced setup but now we only need to click on start conversations and click on edit and then here we have a greeting and we have customer actions and the greeting is the actual message that is showing in messenger so we can just remove all this and the best part about this is that we can use some kind of personalization so if you click on insert personalization and then we can select the first name add a comma and then we can say we cannot wait to give you access to our Black Friday sale click the button below to get access then we add a nice icon here and then as a customer actions we're not going to use the frequently asked questions but we're going to use a quick reply and then we're going to say just as we did before we add a nice lock icon and then we say get access so then we just need to copy this get access button and then we can click on save and finish so now we set up the Facebook ad correctly, but we still need to create a ManyChat flow. So if we head over to ManyChat, we go to automation, click on new flow. We will start from scratch. And then we say connect Facebook ads to ManyChat inside Europe, rename it. And the starting step will be a Facebook keyword. So we will click on Add Trigger, search for Facebook, and then the Facebook keyword. And here we need to click on the keyword, and then here we need to paste the text we copied before. So the text that we're using as a quick reply in our Facebook ad, that's the text that we need to put here. Get access, and click on Create. And then here we need to connect it to a Facebook message. 
Here the content type needs to be other. And then here you can use all the features of ManyChat. So you can just say, here's our Black Friday sale. And for example, then you can show a complete gallery of the products that you have on sale with Black Friday. And then if you publish this flow and you also publish this ad, you successfully connected your Facebook ad to ManyChat inside Europe. And that's it. That's how you connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat, both if you're living inside Europe or whether you're living outside Europe. And if you have any questions on how you can connect Facebook ads to ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.